We have no evidence that enough uh, magma pressure is present. We are seeing the gassing at the K1 crater and the surrounding area. This is the uh, RUV camera. You can see that in the old place on the left, you have some uh, fumaroles. That was there always. But this is new, what we are seeing in the K1 at the toppest part of it. And we are seeing also the rise in the uh, GPS data, that uh, swelling of the ground. The gases practically are present now, leading to the uh, rift valley that is formed there. We have also enough earthquakes to make the magma, which is a non-Newtonian fluid, to be able to flow freely. And first the gaseous part of it, and then, like a shaking of a ketchup, the uh, liquid part, the fluid part of it, will rise to the surface. We are seeing the ground opening up. This is the earthquakes. We have an increased, double almost, triple, in the numbers of the earthquakes. These are mostly on the Eurasian plate, where the plate boundary is being pulled by the uh, gravity, the weight of the Eurasian plate, subduction in the Pacific Ocean, those areas in the East Asia. This is the biggest, one of the biggest places on the planet Earth. And they affect uh, what is happening in the Grindavik area. Grindavik is in the Eurasian plate. So the earthquakes are continuing. We are seeing the effect of them. You can see that it's like a zipper going back and forth and trying to open up the tens of kilometers of the ground, which is from the Grindavik toward the Hengil, toward the east. And uh, the depth also, it has uh, 5 uh, to 10 kilometers depth. It has to be able to open that, open up a crack in the ground. We see the earthquakes happening there. These are the evidence for the earthquake. That is happening at the depth and trying to open up crack or extend. That's what we call extension. Uh, that extension happening so we have, we'll be able to have an eruption like what we had in the January 2024 uh, in the area of the Sunuka crater near the north, uh, near the Grindavik. Also, this is the second scenario in the near the Grindavik, what we had in the form of the eruption in that time and also in the recent eruption in the Hagofell. Most likely, probably, we will have it in the north, as we see the degassing at the K1, uh, the hazard uh, map, the risk assessment is the same as before. This is what the uh, Icelandic Meteorological Office is actually asserting, and this is the latest update by them. Uh, I have described what they said, and I have added to my own information on that, analysis and information to that. And uh, the eruption is imminent. We are seeing degassing. We are seeing the increase in the number of the earthquake, 200 against the 60 from last week. And now, the, more than ever, we are, we are close to have an eruption in that area. Very close now. The gassing has started. Enough pressure is built up.